right? So. Hi everyone, it's Holly. Um, can you see me? I'm probably out of the frame here. It's awesome. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Um, hope everyone has plans for the holiday. You have something nice planned for yourself. I'm still on my extreme self-care kick or doing my best to still be on it and got quite a few good responses from my last video about the spa day in your pantry so I um, wanted to share just another little one with you of things you may possibly probably have in your house um, this one comes from this book absolute beauty radiant skin and inner harmony through the ancient secrets of Ayurveda by Pratima Reshar um, it's a book about Ayurvedic beauty it's how I learned most of what I know about Ayurvedic beauty, so if you're interested in the subject, I would definitely recommend picking that one up. Um, bottom line, um, one of the most important lessons that I took away from the book is that um, she says that everything we put on our skin, we're putting into our body because our bodies absorb um, you know, through the skin you're absorbing the things you put on it. So when you buy commercial beauty products, you're taking into your body fragrances, dyes, oils, um, all sorts of different, you know, additives and things. So what she recommends is don't put anything on your skin that you wouldn't eat. So if you enjoy these little, like, um, you know, like, find it in your pantry, stuff you have laying around the house, beauty treatments, this book is full of them. All sorts of stuff too. Hair care, making your own cosmetics, it's a really wonderful book. But the one I wanted to share with you today is um, a weekly exfoliating mask. Um, using different fruits, fruit acids break down the surface cells, the dead surface cells, and um, to reveal the, the brighter complexion, the healthier skin that's underneath. And so, you don't even need to know your vosh, uh, your dosha for this one, my your dosha for this one. I know last week you had to um, figure out your dosha to decide which oil you wanted to use, but for this one she does it by skin type, um, which correspond to the the doshas, but um, she does it by skin type. So for dry skin, which would be a vata type skin, she recommends banana or avocado pulp. For um, sensitive skin, which would be pitta skin, she recommends banana or pineapple pulp. And then for oily skin, which corresponds to kapha, she recommends um, strawberry or papaya pulp. So hopefully you live in a part of the country where, you know, we're lucky here. We get all sorts of exotic fruits all year round. Um, hopefully you are able to find something. Um, that you would be able to use for your skin type right now. And all you have to do, I've only done the banana one because I, of course, am vata. Um, you just mash it up, mash it into a pulp, and then important thing that I would really recommend is getting a towel, laying a towel down wherever you're going to do this because the banana, um, I don't know if you, you know, if when you start to warm a banana, it starts to get kind of like meltier and slimier maybe and as it does that it begins to run off your face um, so I would recommend having a towel there just in case things get a little bit messy and then the other thing um, that she recommends in this book as well is to elevate your feet somehow I um, I know I did it by my bed so that I was on the floor with my feet propped up on my bed you could also do that um, by a couch or just with a chair but it's important to get your feet elevated because, you know, gravity all day long is um, <clears throat> drawing everything downward, right? So if you elevate your feet like that, it's just like inversions in yoga. What do inversions do? They take you, turn you upside down, and shake all that stuff back down that's uh, down at the bottom. So the blood flow, there's a rush of blood flow back up into the upper chest, into the head, and into the face, which is going to do wonders for your complexion. So. Um, definitely remember that when you're doing this and then just leave it on for you know 10-15 minutes maybe just laying there relaxing consciously taking care of yourself um, maybe for the theme of this week being grateful for having that time and having that that love for yourself to stop and do something really great um, to take care of your body and then when you're done you just rinse it off um, and then follow with any nourishing 
moisturizing that you already have um, in your skincare routine. So that's it. That's my little um, <laughs> spa in your kitchen tip for this week. Um, I hope everyone has a really wonderful Thanksgiving and I will see you all soon. Speak to you soon. Bye.